Okay. okay, let's go ahead and get started. Thank you everyone for being here today. This is the first workshop of the week, Money Monday for the May Money Month Challenge. And this is the uh, Getting Started group, 20s and 30s. So hopefully we can get some good information starting today. We're talking about student loans. We have Brooks Hanula from Horace Mann with us. And do you see my screen? Charlotte, are we good? Yes. Okay, go ahead, take it away. All right, thank you for everybody for uh, attending. Um, we're kind of excited to uh, uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, student loan solutions and a couple of different student loan forgiveness programs that are available to all educators. Um, some uh, many people are aware of, uh, but maybe have questions about. Uh, so that's what uh, we're here. Uh, my name is Brooks Hanula. Uh, Teresa Goulet and also Jody Reams are also Horace Mann agents. I know they're going to be on the call or uh, also available to help. Okay, Carly, we can switch that one. Uh, Horace Mann, for those of you that, that aren't aware, uh, we've been around since 1945. Uh, we're the largest multi-line teacher insurance company in the country. Uh, we've been business partners with the district for a number of years and um, um, very excited to, uh, uh, to bring this to Palm Beach County. Hey, Carly. We're here to protect you, protect what you have today. Like, you know, for example, your auto insurance, we have a number of different homeowner carriers in Florida. That's very, that's a difficult uh, subject and topic on a different, you know, uh, to talk about. Uh, life insurance and also supplemental needs. Uh, but we also help you uh, plan for a successful tomorrow, uh, helping you with student loan debt, getting that debt forgiven, lowering, lowering your student loan um, payment. Those are just a couple other things other than budget, credit, and also with your retirement, um, explaining you how your pensions work, help setting up 403B. So we do a variety of different things. And today, like Harley said, we're excited to tell you a little bit about the student loan solutions and the opportunity we have to help you there. If you're like anybody or like a lot of people, 60% um, of people have student loan debt right now. Um, it's a it's a major issue. I mean, a national student loan debt somewhere around six uh, one point six trillion dollars. Okay, uh, when you come out of college, the uh, an average person has on average thirty six thousand dollars of student loan debt um, that they start with day one. And Horseman did do a study in two thousand and twenty when we re after a few years of really helping people with this and found that actually thirty four percent of people are educators are actually considering leaving. Uh, teaching just due to financial stress and a lot of it just having to do with the cost associated with pre, uh, paying back their student loans in general. So that's kind of scary. Uh, we are here to help. Um, since we started this, I want to say Horseman started in 2016. In Palm Beach County alone, just so you know, Teresa, uh, myself, and Jody, we've helped save over $5 million or get people on a path to save over $5 million of student loan. And we, we, don't, we do that for free. Um, it's just a courtesy we give to all educators. Um, Company-wide, so far we've got teachers on pace to save over three or uh, $350 million of student loans. I mean, it's just a crazy number in just a few years. 85% um, of those people have been better off with us helping them. On average, uh, they've been on pace to actually have $75,000 of their student loan forgiven, okay? And lower their monthly payment on average $330. I mean, those are just staggering numbers um, of just understanding um, how some of these programs work to try to help you now and down the road in the future. This, the first student loan is called the Teacher Student Loan Forgiveness Program. This is one of the, the programs that I find that most educators know about. Um, this program is only for classroom teachers though, okay? Only classroom teachers and you have to work in, for, in, for us in Florida, it's a, an, a Title I school. If you work five consecutive years in a Title I school and your loans are federal, they have to be federal, um, you will get up to $5,000 dismissed of your student loans, okay? In certain situations, you can get up to $17,500, but those are people that work in a Title I school for five consecutive years, like I said, have federal loans, um, work in special education, or, um, it is, or uh, work for uh, in a math, math or science uh, field, but it's only for secondary education on that side. 
The second one, this is, this is where these big numbers come in, um, is the Public Service Student Loan Forgiveness Program. This is not just for teachers, it's for anyone that works for public service, public service or works for a nonprofit organization, okay? So how the program works, it's a 10-year program. Um, it is based on income driven and family size. So for example, after you make 120 qualifying payments, which is 10 years of payments, your loans have to be direct. They have to be a certain direct loan. They have to be federal and you have to be on a income driven repayment plan. So there's very, there's some strict things that, um, that you do have to follow to qualify. Once you've done that for 120 payments, 10 consecutive years, uh, the remainder of your student loan will be forgiven tax-free, which is huge. All right, so with the Public Service Student Loan Forgiveness Program, navigating through this, this process can be a little tricky. Um, actually, less than 4% of the people have applied for this program. Some people think they've applied, but they really actually haven't, okay? Or 77% of the people have not been even informed by their provider, their student loan forgiveness provider. And I'll explain that a little bit, okay? 98% 98, 98 of the people that actually do fill out the application and get everything set up still fail because they're, they find out at the end they're not under the, the, the uh, a proper repayment plan, they're missing information on that application, or they have the wrong type of loan um, altogether, which could have been adjusted and changed from, from the beginning so they would qualify. So education makes a big difference with this. Repayment plans. Um, you have to be on a certain, there's certain repayment plans that work. If you look on the bottom left, there's a little box, you know, uh, outlined in green. These are plans that don't qualify for the public service to loan forgiveness program. The first one is a graduated plan. A graduated plan is pretty much what you're going to default to when you come in, when you come into, um, when you start paying your student loan forgiveness. Um, it means that your payments are going to be paid over a 10 year period and there's going to be no balance. You're paying it off over 10 years. Okay. The next two is a um, extended fixed and extended graduated. These, they push that, that, out to 20, 30, sometimes even longer to lower your payment, but that interest keeps accruing and it's not so much always helping you, a lot of times it's helping the, the, uh, the loan um, provider. On the, just to the right of that, there's plans that do qualify for the public service student loan forgiveness program, okay? These are, um, like I said, repayment plans that are based off of income, okay? The, uh, pay as you earn, the, the uh, um, repay as you earn, the IBR and the ICR. You'll see those on your statements when you look at your, what your, um, uh, how your repayment actually works. Those are the only four that qualify for this program. So for this an example, we have a teacher that's 36, that makes $36,000 a year, uh, has $35,000 of student loans, and has a 5.5% interest rate in single. Okay, not married, single. When they graduate, they're going to automatically default to the standard repayment plan. So in this situation, it's $380 a month. You're going to pay that for 10 years, and you're going to actually pay $45,606 over that period of time because of the 5.5% interest. Okay. Now, when you call the provider and you say, you know what, I can't afford $380, what are my options? They're going to give you that extended fixed or extended graduated. That's going to lower the monthly payment, but that's going to extend the, the period of time that you're actually paying those out for. So, for example, if you went under the extended repayment plan, that would lower your payment from 380 to 215 all the way through X number of years, but you would actually pay $64,556 over that period of time. So the amount of money you're paying is almost double for what you started with. Okay. Um, what they don't tell you is that you can be on an income driven in this situation and income driven in this particular situation, making $36,000, $35,000 of student loans and single, um, you know, we could get you down to $141 a month with a qualifying repayment plan for the public service. After 10 years, you would pay $20,279 
and actually have $34,156 forgiven tax-free at the end, never have to pay another cent in student, of those student loans again. Um, in certain situations, we do run into people that have private loans or uh, that maybe might not qualify for income driven due to um, uh, um, the amount of money that the family does make or family size. All those things are uh, different things that, that do make a difference in, in that repayment. But it's still a positive thing to go through this because you can possibly there may be ways to lower the interest rate. Um, or lower the monthly, you know, month that you're paying to maybe increase the cash flow on a monthly basis. Basis. A lot of times, also when we do go to college, we pick up all these different loans from different providers, and so you have three, four, five different loans, and it gets kind of, you know, confusing. So another option might be to actually um, reconsolidate or with one of them, so it just reduces the number of um, loan providers that you have to make it simpler for you to understand. So. Right now, um, I'm sure a lot of you are aware, uh, we're, uh, we are under a temporary, temporary relief uh, with the CARES Act. What that means is that there's a forbearance for uh, forbearance benefit through September 30th of 2021, where all federal loans are automatically suspended. Okay, they're just on hold. Uh, your student loans, they're not, uh, they're not accruing any interest, okay? And if you do have uh, any loans in default um, or, you know, where they're, they're up subject, subject to wage garnishment, those, play, those uh, payments are also placed on hold right now, okay, until September 30th of 2021. Um, a couple things that a lot of people that are coming out of college might not uh, know is that when you do, if you are in an income-driven repayment, the, it's always on the, it's based on the income year the prior year. So you were in college, you really didn't have much of an income. That first year, a lot of times we can get you on a zero payment plan and each one of those payments that's still zero counts towards that 120 qualifying payments. Um, but again, we have to make sure we get that we qualify for those things. Um, you do have to be a full time employee. And what that means is 30 hours or more a week in a public school or working for a nonprofit. Um, and again, you have to be on a, on a qualifying repayment plan. All, all we're talking about, we as Horace Main agents can help and, ev and everything that we do is all 100% complimentary to you. There's no cost, there's no nothing. Um, there are different companies out there that do have a cost. Uh, we, um, we don't do that, okay? There's, and uh, we, Horace Man is actually flipping the bill. Uh, they're paying for each person in Palm Beach County right now. Um, there's a program uh, with Tuition IO. Uh, they've actually hired us what they do. Um, helping people with their student loan debt. They have certain webinars um, on their sites. Um, they have loan coaches that will help guide you. It's what they do for a full-time job. And we're always here as your Horseman representatives in the county to, to help guide you as well. So um, there's a link that's gonna be at the end of this. If, if anyone chooses to actually um, have tuition IO kind of overlook your student loans and have us help you, it's an option that you have. But once you do actually do sign up an account, um, this is what the, the homepage will kind of look like. They have uh, calculators on there that are there to educate you. Um, there's an area where you're, you're actually able to link your current loans that you have with your current provider. So if it's with Fed Loans, Nelnet, Navient, whoever that is, um, you can, and it's the reason why it's important to link those loans so we can kind of see, is one, we can see what kind of loans they are. Are they direct or are they, um, you know, um, are they a qualifying uh, loan for this program or do we have to make an adjustment to that, okay? And then also the average interest rate. Using the average interest rate is important because we can calculate how much of the student loans you would have forgiven uh, over or get you on track uh, to have forgiven over a 10 year period of time. Okay, um, this here is, is again, I just kind of went over the link as far as the um, um, linking your student loans to it. So Carly, we can go to the next one, I'm sorry. Horace Mann, um, our information is always gonna be on this link as well. So if you ever wanna reach out to us, you just click a button, send us an email, and we're there to um, 
um, can help guide you in that direction. Once you actually sign up with an account there and link your loans, then there, you, we can find out what you may qualify for by filling out the strategy finder. Okay, it asks, you know, it is it does ask your income, does ask family size, um, uh, you know, those types of things. So, for example, in this particular situation, it does a calculation and says that this person could save up to over twenty-five thousand dollars of student loans and have that forgiven. Um, you know, it, it's just a very user-friendly. Um, calculator to be able to see or if I make this adjustment or you know that, that we can that you can do or we can help you with um, as well <laughs> okay I guess it's going step by step so um, in this situation uh, it says that uh, when you come out of college your average loan you'd be paying three hundred and eighty dollars uh, with on a income driven pays your earned repayment plan we can get you down between 141 and 199 um, and have about thirty four thousand dollars forgiven in this particular situation and it shows on the chart um, there's online coaches that are there for free that you can actually call. And again, this is what they do for a living. They can overlook everything. Make sure that you're on that, that the, the proper repayment plan and have the proper loans as well as every year they will send you, they'll send you notifications of making sure that the proper forms are filled out because you do have to fill out um, uh, certain forms on an annual basis. So just an overview, um, Horace Mann does have this tuition I.O. option for all of you, okay? Um, the first thing to do is, is click the link to actually uh, create a student loan solutions account. And the next slide will get into that. Then the next thing is actually take and link your current loans to that portal, okay, or to that page. Then we can even help you with this fill out the strategy finder see what we could actually if you're on the the correct uh, repayment plan and see what your potential of forgiveness can be and then we can do a final consultation to make sure that you're you know in the best place or have a loan coach do the same thing okay through tuition io and then we can keep doing this on an annual basis to make sure that, you know, that, that we keep your, you know, plan into action and make sure we're on top of it. Yeah, then I think it's the link, Carly. Uh, what did I do? Yeah, it's the, the, on the hub. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I see there's a question and we'll go through this first and then we will get to that. Okay. There we go. This is on, on your district hub, okay? And it just says, you know, student loan forgiveness. And on the bottom, there is a link that goes directly to um, a page where you literally it's just a sign up page. It'll take you right to you, put your name, um, uh, just some general information, and it's just for you. And, and we just want to make sure that, that we're, um, it'll come to, to us agents directly to reach out to you as well. And it just gives you the directions on how to link your student loans, how to fill out the strategy finder, and things like that. But this is actually on your district hub. And it has Teresa and I's information there. So once you fill that out, 
you're going to get an email with a username and password and there'll be directions that'll take you from there. And if you have any questions, this is just a QR code. If you don't want to ask now or, um, you know, we just want to send us and uh, want us to contact you at a later date and assist you in any way, we can do that as well. So I will send everyone the presentation and the QR code and the, the link to the hub so that they can, they can have that. And then the question, when we apply for the public service forgiveness, would it retroactively count payments while employed as a teacher to the 120 payments or only payments after applying? That's a great so, question. Yeah, no, it's a great question. So if you have direct loans already, okay, and if you're on, the, on an actual income-driven repayment plan, then potentially yes, okay? If you have FM, uh, what, what is it, um, Stafford loans or older loans, that doesn't count for Stafford. We actually have to consult or switch it from Stafford phone, Stafford loans to direct, which we can do, but then those payments will start then. But if you already have direct loans and are already on a, a qualifying income driven repayment plan, then all we do is, is then we just have to uh, get the um, employment verification form signed by HR, send that to your uh, provider and we can hopefully, you know, and, and hopefully get those um, tacked on. Okay, perfect. So even if it's not them necessarily that have the, the loans, obviously they can share this information. Um, how does that apply to, so it's just anybody who works for a nonprofit in the state or the school system, correct? Correct. Yep, the teacher student loan forgiveness program is basically just for only teachers that, that uh, work in a Title I school, okay? Public service student loan forgiveness program is anyone that works for basically a, a nonprofit organization. Um, so it's not just teachers in the in the um, you know in our in our in the district now. Uh, it's not just teachers. It's it's administrators, people that work in the district office, anyone that gets a paycheck through the school district that works more than thirty hours a week may qualify. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> 